This is me and Tiranya. I'm in a tiny, tiny, tiny little uh, efficiency studio. I can't. I've been looking around all morning trying to find a good place to shoot from. Uh, there's really no place else to go. Um, but I'm only here for about three weeks. I couldn't find a, a decent sized apartment for the first uh, few weeks in Tarania, so I'm moving to a bigger place with uh, you know more amenities and stuff on I think on July 30th. So I do want to do a couple. Uh, I haven't been reading because I've been exploring the town. Maybe I'll do a video about that at some time. I should quit promising to do videos, but it's probably going to be a light month. You know, this is a big city. I've never been in it before. I, so far, I, I really like it. Uh, some of the places I've been living are just kind of small. I guess I'm just not a small town guy. I like big cities. It's, there's a lot of energy here. and Anyway, so for this month, I'm I'm continuing uh, Star Trek: The Wrath of the Summer of Trek. I may get back to some sports uh, books. Who knows? I didn't even finish all the westerns I wanted to do. I don't know if I'm going to jump in full force to any of the other uh, events that are going on, like the sci-fi event Rocket Summer. Uh, we'll just see how it goes. I just got a lot of odds and ends on my. Kindle that I want to read, and maybe I'll just I'll just freestyle this month. I'm definitely planning on participating in Gar Garbagist in a big way. So maybe till then I'll just kind of go on my own. But there won't be that many videos this month. I just want to keep in touch with everyone. And I've been watching a lot of videos related to travel and stuff. I, I'm, I've got a trip planned to Spain in October for three months um, had some destinations kind of switched them around I kind of want to take the opportunity to see some more different places in Spain so I've been researching that a lot and then where to go next after that where to go in January maybe Tangier I'm thinking for a few weeks then maybe back to Albania that's what I'm thinking about now so that could all change but that's been taking a lot of research and a lot of exploring online I like to watch uh, videos to research things and what I'm realizing is and I think I've said this before how quickly it affects the algorithm so I'm not seeing any of my booktube things for a while I thought gee nobody's really posting videos anymore but I realize it's just if you start looking travel videos you start getting suggested travel videos if you look only at booktube you get booktube videos and that's how it goes I'm going to pause and cough so I've been missing out on a lot of videos. I, I hope people are having a good summer. Here's what I've read. Three books. Just three books this last week. It seems like it's a lot more than a week. So on the Star Trek front, I read The Wounded Sky by Diane Duane, which still still a perfect run of Star Trek novels being, in my opinion, very mediocre reading experiences. It was interesting enough that I finished it I don't think I would read any other books by D Diane Duane I don't think I'm going to read any more of the really old original series uh, books anymore uh, although Reno Reads uh, made a good case for the Wrath of Khan maybe if I find that someplace I'd like, I would like to read that but these early early ones they're just not character based. There, it's just a story with a, a person named Kirk and a person named Spock who really, to me, and this is the same experience I've had in all the others I've read, don't really even seem like the characters from the series. They just seem kind of like bland and generic. These are very plot driven stories where I think of Star Trek, all the Star Treks as, as character driven series. So maybe it's just not for me. I've got one coming up that I got on Kindle Unlimited, which is the Titan series, the first book in the Titan series, Titan Star Trek series, is on Kindle Unlimited, so I'm going to read that. It won't count for my 100 book challenge because, because it's a new book that I'm getting, but I'm not paying for it. Um, anyway, the Titan series is 10 books, I believe, about Riker, who's one of my favorite characters. And definitely one of my favorite actors. One of my favorite personalities is Jonathan Frakes. If you've ever seen him on 
podcasts or things. He's hilarious. He swears a lot. He's very funny. He's very open uh, about everything. He just seems like a really cool guy. But I've always liked Riker anyway, and I like Tom Riker as well. Um, but there's a series of 10 books that take place right after the last Next Generation movie, which was a big bomb. I can't remember even the th thinking... The, can't even remember the name of it right now. Uh, anyway, it's the it's the one, the last one, um, and at the end of that one, Riker uh, leaves uh, the Enterprise and gets his own command on the Titan. And this is a series. I'm talking about this more than anything I've read this month. This is a series that that shows uh, what his command is like when he he takes over, and I guess he marries or or. Uh, anyway, uh, Marina Sirtis' character goes with him. I can't even remember the name of her character now. Why Why do I not remember her character? But you know who Marina Sirtis is, if you care about this at all. I'm just blanking on the name. And Tuvok from uh, Voyager is on that crew. And it sounds like an interesting series. I'm also interested in seeing if any of these later, more modern Star Trek novels are any better or if I enjoy them any more than, than I have done on any of these really, really old sort of first generation, um, you know, these novels that were kind of written before the, before the, all the 80s series started. I'm really kind of, even though I'm old enough to watch Star Trek as a kid, uh, you know, in the first set of reruns, you know, and everybody always says your first Star Trek is the one you grew up on. I really am more of a 80s, I mean 90s Star Trek guy. I really like those series in the 90s. The, the run from Next Generation, from say season three of Next Generation through Enterprise. Uh, I think that's the era. It's definitely better than the era we're in now, although there's some interesting things going on now. It's not as terrible as people seem to say. Anyway, so that's enough Star Trek talk. The other book I read was, and I guess this can, counts for Rocket Summer. The, uh, this is Mary Shelley's Frankenstein. This is the 1818 text. Uh, so it's uh, the first time I've read this version when I was a kid. The only one that was available was the later revised and sort of slightly censored, balderized version that she put out. Uh, in later years, um, that was like the Signic, Signic classic version, and all that. But this 1818 version is kind of popular now. That since they're both in the public domain, people put plenty of uh, different versions of it out. This is a this is a nice looking version. It's got illustrations inside, but they're just like random things that they pulled off the internet. People thought would be. Anyway, uh, I really enjoyed it. It's a lot shorter book than I remembered reading it as, I'm pretty sure it was seventh grade, I read it, remembering who my teacher was at the time, who was really a strong promoter, so, okay, seventh or eighth grade, she was a, a real strong promoter of reading, and she let us read all the time, and write little book reviews, and you could read as many books as you wanted for extra credit, she was very pro-reading, which you would think would make sense for an English teacher. I'm not sure it's really done anymore. I think a lot of teachers uh, really want to limit what, what kids can read today and to like certain uh, prescribed things. And she was just like, read anything you want, read anything you want, um, which is the way to do it, in my opinion. Okay, so... Uh, uh, but a terrific story, just really wonderfully well written. It's, of course, so different than any of the any any of the adaptions. That it really makes me wonder why no one's ever tried to adapt it faithfully. In fact, there was a there was a series that came out not that long after I read it when I was a kid called Frankenstein: The True Story, and I thought, okay, now they're really going to do a faithful adaption. But it was not. It was just, it was just not following any of the other adaptions either. But I highly recommend it. It's only about two hundred pages. Um, tragic story. The mon the creature is pretty evil yet still sympathetic. 
you know, in the movies, especially starting with the Karloff movies and all that, he was uh, sympathetic and, and misunderstood. Uh, in Mary Shelley's original uh, conception, he's sympathetic, but understood, I think. And he has a very uh, believable and understandable grievance against his creator, Dr. Frankenstein, Many grievances, but he's still sort of cruel and relentless and uh, kills a lot of innocent people because of his hatred of Frankenstein and his hatred of, of the way he came into existence. So very powerful book. Uh, liked it a lot, recommended a lot. Another short, easy classic to read. Going to cough again. I don't know why I'm I don't know why I'm coughing. It's just been pretty cool here the last couple of days so I've been out walking around exploring the city but uh, I'm just kind of walked out right now I walked uh, three and a half hours yesterday all over so I think I'm going to hang out here and get some more reading done what I'm reading right now is the McBain brief Ed McBain short stories um, terrific had this for a while uh, I might read some more 87th Precinct novels this month we'll see how it goes might read some science fiction with the McBain brief, in which I'll probably finish today, I've got a few stories left in it. Um, that will bring me to 64 books read on my 100 book project, 100 book read what you own project. And then, of course, it's going to slow down because I picked out a bunch of Kindle ebooks I want to read. Kindle Unlimited, books on Kindle Unlimited I want to read, which I can't count. Okay, that's it. Uh, I'll probably try and do one outside someplace if I can find a good, uncrowded area to do it. I, I saw a sort of a little park area the other day. It's about a 20-minute walk here, from here, um, but I'm not going to do that today. So maybe I'll do some outdoor videos and get out of this rather dingy background here. I mean, it is, it's really a nice little place. Um, just hang out. It's super cool. It's in the back. There's an air conditioner and it gets like it can get icy cold in like 10 minutes in here and then you can just t turn the air conditioner off and it's nice and cool all day. So it's been really fun to sleep in and hang out in. It's on the second floor so it gets unnervingly noisy sometimes. The walls are pretty thin. feels like people are right in the room uh, with you. But like I say, it's only th through, what is today, the 5th or 6th? It's only another... 23 days and then I'm going into another place and we'll have more adventures. Talk to you then. I mean, I'll talk to you before then, but I'll talk to you later.